Hi, I'm Becky and I'm one of the new grads on the scheme here at Gripple and Chris is also with me and today we're going to be talking to Michael who was a graduate on the scheme 10 years ago about his experience in the company. Do you want to introduce a bit about yourself and kind of how you started at the company and where you are now? Of course, so my name is Michael Hodgson. Uh, I started at Gripple in September 2012 on the first ever Gripple grad scheme. Uh, so I've been here just over 10 years. So my role now is I was elected as chair of Glide uh, just over a year and a half ago. So I now do a, a elected five year term as chair of that board. Um, so that's, that's what I'm doing now. So did you see yourself going into like the chair role or did you see yourself in a completely different position when you started the grad scheme? I certainly didn't see myself as chair. Um, obviously when I joined the business, I was very interested in the employee ownership side. Uh, and I was always interested in becoming a, an elected representative. Obviously, when I joined, that chair position probably felt quite, quite a distance away. Um, my background is, is marketing. I've got a marketing degree, so I think my initial focus was probably I will be on the marketing side for Gripple and hopefully doing marketing communications. So I guess I always saw my career in marketing, but hopefully getting involved with Glide, but certainly not as involved as I am now. So Michael, I imagine there are lots of differences between your previous marketing role and your current role as chairman of Glide. Uh, would you say that the graduate scheme gave you the skills uh, for that role? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, our scheme is very much about people trying to get as much exposure in the different departments in the business as they can. Um, and that obviously allows you to, to go and find uh, different projects which involve different skills um, and you get a lot more awareness of the, the sort of wider understanding and knowledge that we need to, to run the business. So yeah, the, the, the programme is very much geared towards giving us a, a broad skill set, which I think has certainly uh, helped me on my way in this role, definitely. Would you say that um, the graduate scheme now, the one that we're on, is very different from the one that you are on? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I would say Glenn and I's scheme, we were very much the guinea pigs. Um, Gripple hadn't done a graduate scheme before uh, and there was a little bit of sort of let's, let's feel our way into this and let's see how things go. I would say now and a lot of it's based on feedback and it's based on the business's strength which is reviewing and taking input from the graduate cohorts and saying what went well, what didn't, what could we do differently. Um, that, we've obviously been through that process a number of times and now you've got a scheme which looks completely different to what Glenn and I came in on. Um, it's fantastic and the, the sort of time that goes into the project planning to deliver um, the briefs for you guys when you're going into different departments and um, the opportunity for you to spend more time in the in the regions and also um, with the partnership with Rally go and do the expedition the volunteering side as well that that stuff didn't wasn't existing when when Glenn and I were on but it's fantastic now that it is and it, I think it's a real benefit for you guys. It's definitely something that we're looking oh, yeah. for. <laughs> <laughs> There's not many companies that offer like the chance to go on a 14 week expedition and yeah, develop yourselves oh. and manage people. And that's obviously skills that we can then like, bring back into the company. Everyone gets really forward. surprised whenever um, I mention it to them and it's just not uh, really seen in other companies, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. yeah, fantastic opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Would you say that there's any particular benefits you got out of the graduate scheme from the rotation, so like meeting new people um, and just kind of everything else that comes with it? Yeah, the, I mean, the culture of the business is such that it, it, there's a lot of focus on us being a team and us being together. Mm. Um, you'll see that from the environments we work in, um, the way we want to have that cross-pollination across the teams. We want people to be working across teams and and getting to know people better. The grad programme is a fantastic way of doing that um, because that sort of sense of getting to know people is really important to how we run the business. Um, so yeah, meeting people and building those relationships, really important. I would say a difference between our grad scheme and others is this idea of working on live projects. You'll probably go on other grad schemes and they'll ask you to do something which might be a, a shadow alongside a, an active life project where you're essentially just learning the ropes, but you're not delivering anything that's going to impact the business directly. That's not the case here, and as I'm sure you'll already know. Yeah, it was something know. that like, surprised us in a nice way, because even in like the first week, we were starting to learn about projects that we were going to be involved in and leading, which was really nice that 
kind of our skills were being appreciated and we could put those to the test straight away. Absolutely, and that, that sort of comes back to trust, which is another, another core value for us is, you know, the employee ownership culture is one where we want people to make decisions take responsibility for the business because you are owners of the business. I think the support network is really good as well because although yeah. we do get a lot of responsibility, we obviously have our line manager, we've got the guys in PNC who are always there for us and then we have the opportunity to get an extra mentor as well that's kind of outside of any of the roles just so we get that, all that yeah. help that we want in guidance. And beyond just appointed people who are meant to be looking after us, we, it, everyone around is very happy to help. Yeah. Like you could just stand up, walk to another person's desk and ask them if you feel like they're the ones who know more about it yeah. yeah I definitely think the employee ownership and the culture stood out to us in the first definitely. week because everyone was just so welcoming and mm -hmm. we got to know everyone in that like our first main office mm -hmm. really well yeah which everyone's nice. been really warm and welcoming that's great to hear yeah um, so just to follow up your previous um, mention on flight um, how would you describe it in relation to Grippo because I know that can be some confusing for some people glide is basically there it doesn't run the businesses um, the businesses are, are member businesses of Glide and we are then there to represent the members in those businesses, uh, provide the voice, provide the challenge, hold the businesses to account because we want the businesses to be running in a sustainable way, focused on growth, focused on innovation, focused on supporting the communities. So when you say the businesses, it's not just Gripple, is it? Like, there's so much more to the company than that. Yes, so we've got three businesses in the group. Uh, we've got Gripple, we've got Loadhog, who I mentioned earlier, and we've got GoTools, which is a, a tooling manufacturer. So they provide the tools uh, where Gripple makes its zinc die casts, the zinc die cast housings, um, but they also do business for other external companies as, companies as well. Um, so yes, there are three businesses in the group, and again, from a grad scheme perspective, fantastic opportunity for people to have a bit more exposure to different industries. Um, opportunities to, to work within the group um, you know and the, the three businesses if, if you look at them in terms of their their industries the sectors that they work in the customers that they deal with they all offer something different so it really does give us a lot of scope for, for you guys to, to broaden your knowledge and, and understanding in different in different sectors and markets obviously we've talked a lot about employee ownership but there's quite a lot of uh, exciting benefits that we get as employees so like the bar that we're in now um, do you want to expand on some of that because I feel like that's something that's quite unique to this company yeah so we obviously I mentioned the gifted shares um, what we have is a dividend payment structure so our businesses pay one-third of post-tax profit as dividend to all the members who have shares but also into Glide so Glide then has funds to use for things such as sports, social, well-being, health, all of these areas. Um, and it's driven by what do the members want to do with that, with that money. Um, so as you mentioned, we've got a fantastic facility here, which is Glide House. It's a, it's a, a bar, a, a fully operational kitchen. We deliver food to all the sites. Um, we obviously make that affordable for people. Um, there's lots of different things that we do alongside the development programme. So as we mentioned, Rally. Um, Glide also has its own rally program where people can go on volunteer projects, spend 10 weeks out of the business, and then it's how we harness those skills that they've learned when they come back. Um, we do lots of things around uh, Christmas and summer parties, um, even things as small as just giving people a bacon sandwich after a good period, you know, a good financial performance. Um, so there's lots of different things we do. Um, and the, the main point on that is that our employee ownership culture allows us to do that. So Michael, have you got any bits of advice for us? Yes, I would say the most important thing for you guys to do is make sure that you take opportunities to put yourselves out of your comfort zone. Uh, you might be like me where you had a niche, uh, a preference in terms of where you wanted to end up, which team you want to work in, and that, that's good. That's good to have that, that sort of focus, but as part of this programme, it's a great opportunity for you guys to be thinking what else can I learn? Um, what other things might I be really enjoying as part of my, my career that could, could help me in the future? Um, there's a great opportunity in our business to do that um, just because of the diversity of departments, diversity of, of, of skill sets required, but also geographical diversity. We've got sites in Chicago, we've got sites in New Delhi, in Obane, um, in Kobe in Japan. Such global coverage and a real opportunity for you guys to potentially be working on one of those sites in the future. So I would say be open um, and, and 
aim to look at taking opportunities which maybe you, you, you might have done when you first joined. So from your perspective, how are you, how are you finding the programme so far? You've been here three months? Yeah, yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. Um, the kind of projects that they gave me, because the current rotation that I'm on is with um, business development slash rest of world. So um, coming back to the global aspect, um, they did give me projects to work on that involved the Japan side. So when the Japan team came over, I was very involved with meeting them and um, even senior members such as the, the MD of the Japan side. Um, and that was a really good experience as well. I felt the trust that we spoke about earlier. Yeah, for me as well, it's because I did a similar course to Glenn at uni, I did business enterprise management, so it might have even been the same one. So I was a bit undecided as to where I wanted to end up, but I've been really enjoying central marketing, but I've also doing a rotation in people and culture at the moment. So I found that just a really great way to get to know everyone in the business. And there's so many networking opportunities that I probably wouldn't get with another company. Um, and that was just something that was really beneficial to me in developing that so I can gain skills from loads of different areas and take that forward. But I don't know where I want to end up in the business yet. I think that's <laughs> still undecided, but yeah, looking yeah. forward to finding out like where I end up at Brilliant. the end of the two months. And what's, uh, what are you looking forward to next? Um, well, I'm going into production in January. I think that'll be a really new experience yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. So get hands-on with the product. That'll Definitely, be good. Yeah. yeah. I get to learn a lot more about the product and really meet people that I wouldn't in the office otherwise. I think one thing I really liked about Grupo was that the factory is literally physically so close to the office mm -hmm. that you really know the people who are on the shop floor itself yeah. because I feel like lots of other... Um, companies you just wouldn't see the faces who actually make the products. Yeah. Especially in Gunworks you've got to walk through all production and get to the offices so you really see like the story behind the product and see everyone involved which is really nice. Brilliant. Um, I think the part that I'm really looking forward to um, if that's the right word is my rotation in finance. Um, I really struggle with kind of the maths and finance side of things so it pushes me out of my comfort zone but it's such a key part of business so the chance to kind of do that as part of my rotation is probably something you don't get in a lot of graduate schemes because it tends to keep you if you know you've got a marketing focus they'll keep you in marketing and do yeah. rotations around there whereas obviously we get rotations in finance sales yeah. production not only that but i think they did the exact opposite for us where we yeah. had backgrounds in i had background in marketing she had a background in business and they swapped us because they wanted us to learn the most yeah so i'm based in business development and she's based in marketing which i thought when we first found out, we yeah. were a bit confused, <laughs> but now it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> but no, it's been really great to yeah. meet Chris as well. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, we kind yeah. of... We click, I yeah. Think. Yeah. yeah. Even on the assessment day, we got yeah. quite close. Yeah. So we've developed a good relationship, yeah. which is nice. Great. Yeah. So. Well, you've got, obviously, a great opportunity to, to carry on learning and, and enjoying all aspects of the, the scheme. So I hope we continue to enjoy it. And uh, thanks for the time today. No, thank, thank you, you for, for your, your time. time. I've got a marketing degree, so I came into the business. Um, Becky's got a fly on her shoulder. I don't know if anyone else has spotted that, but... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we... <laughs> so, Michael, I imagine there are lots of differences. I didn't say when. What? I didn't say when. Oh, what are you going to say? I'm going to say when. Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank <laughs> you.